Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Tuesday. Hey, baby, how you doing? Hello, I'm okay. How are you? Well, you're going to be better than okay in a bit because we've got Tuesdays with yes, Charlie on the way. Yes, we do. That, that always does make my that day. Does. It cheers you up. It cheers me up. It cheers everybody up. So that's always fun. Uh, can't wait to chat with them. i got some good questions for him today. A new survey found that more than one quarter of employees have fired workers for misusing email. One third have fired workers for misusing the internet on the job. Two thirds of bosses say they monitor internet connections. Yeah. Meanwhile, Heidi's wiping her computer clean right now for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Good news is she is kind of the boss around here. I say kind of because it depends on what we're talking about. But uh, I think uh, if if we were to have somebody overlooking what we're doing throughout the day, we'd get in trouble because a lot of what we do here, at least me, it I get sidetracked so easily. I. Don't get sidetracked while I'm working. What? But once I have nothing to do because I'm waiting on you, <laughs> then I'm playing Candy Crush. Oh yeah, yeah, fun stuff. I've never played that other than just oh over my your gosh, shoulder. I'm like, hey, move that green one. How about that red one? <laughs> I know it's mesmerizing. So just to watch. What level are you on, by the way? Just oh, so people like understand. Sixteen hundred and twenty-four. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> Today is a special day. We'll get to that coming up. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Well, it's Tuesday. So we got Tuesdays with Charlie. It's the seventh day of June. So it's 060716. It is VCR day. Raise your hand if you still have one. I have one. We have one, yeah. Ours has a VCR and a DVD player built into it. And I don't think we'll probably have the VCR in the next one because we don't really use it anymore. But you know what? I'd kind of like to keep it just we because just get we all of have our, all of our kids' yeah. videos. We on. need to get those transferred to something else. And our else. wedding video. Yeah, we need Not to get that, that transferred, too. we need to too. see that gem again. Oh, that's awesome. We do every year on our anniversary, <laughs> baby. It's starting to get worn out. Kind of like us. Uh, it's also Daniel Boone Day, and it is World Pet Memorial Day, which makes me think of uh, Pet Cemetery. Which is a movie that I just thought was uh, kind of weird. I love I that you movie. Uh, you love and, it. You and Troy, our son Troy, you guys were talking about that. And I was like, I just, it was kind of creepy. I don't know. Anyway, get out there and celebrate one way or another. And if you can, somehow try to use your VCR today if you still have one. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Whether you're an experienced shooter or someone new to self-defense, Front Sight Firearms Training Institute has a course for you. You may recognize Front Sight from their reality TV show filmed at this private range 45 minutes west of Las Vegas. A Diamond Lifetime membership is $15,000, but we have a special price of just $3,000 available now only at radiosavings.com. This lifetime membership allows you to take over 50 courses as often as you'd like at Front Sight Firearms Training Institute. Get this deal right now at radiosavings.com. You know it's true because you heard it on the radio. A woman in Montana marries her own mother. It's what? not It's not as demented as you think. Let me explain. Mike Carroll is a soldier in the United States Armed Forces, and he loves a young lady named Sabrina Clark so much, he decided to marry her. But there were a couple of problems. He was stationed in Germany. Sabrina was in Montana. He wasn't allowed to call Montana to get married over the phone. The solution find a stand-in to play the groom. Fortunately, Montana is the only state in the U.S. that will allow a marriage (laughs) to take place without the bride and groom being able to communicate with each other, even without a phone call. The stand-in was Sabrina's mother, Leo Keefe. So Sabrina married her mother in order to be legally married to Mike. Oh, that is weird. Instead of Mike marrying Sabrina, his future mother-in-law did it for him. So... What happens at the part where it says you may kiss the bride, you might be asking? Sabrina kissed a photograph of Mike. Mrs. O'Keefe gave her daughter a kiss on the cheek, so she's still got a little smooching. Oh, that's so weird. But that in Montana... Why wouldn't they just wait till he came home on leave or something? Well, they wanted to get married and they wanted to get it done soon. I think I read about this, because this is maybe two months old or something. I think I read this on the internet back when this happened. Um... But I don't remember the details as to why they did it the way they did it. But I will tell you this. That's the only state where this would have happened. Yeah, I was going to say, leave it to Montana to if, find a way. If they <laughs> Find a been, loophole around having to force the groom to be present at the <laughs> wedding. There's a, a thing. They're like, how fast do you want to go? How about just no speed limit at all? Perfect. Let's do it. Aren't What's they famous a, for a lot of like shotgun here. weddings in that area? What's next on the list? Do we really need the groom present at weddings? <laughs> nah, what the heck? Why not? 
Eh, marry whoever you want to marry, and we'll just put them in. Do they have to have the groom's consent? I don't know. (laughs) All of a sudden, half of the young ladies in Montana just married Justin Bieber. It's kind of crazy. Oh, my gosh. All right. Anyway, uh, you know it's true because you heard it on the radio. The John and Heidi Show is brought to you in part by the Keystone Treatment Center. This is your brain, and this is your brain on drugs. We share silly stories here on the program, but addiction is no joke. If you or someone you know suffers with an addiction to drugs or alcohol, make today the day you seek help. Call toll-free 844-204-1055. That's a toll-free number. Again, 844-204-1055. And this is your brain on drugs. A 44-year-old driver in Holland was stopped by the police for driving erratically. He had so much alcohol in his breath that he crashed their breathalyzer. Whoa. Sometime later, a police doctor gave the man a blood test, which showed that he had, you ready for this? Seven times the legal limit of alcohol in his blood. When he blew in the breathalyzer, the thing went berserk. He's lucky he wasn't dead. It didn't have the capability to read that far. He overloaded it. He was so drunk. He was 44 years young. He's in Holland, stopped by police for driving erratically. So much alcohol in his breath that he crashed the breathalyzer machine. Back in my 20s, I think there were probably a time or two that I probably could have Have done you ever that. failed a breathalyzer test? I've never had to take a breathalyzer. I, I took one oh, and no, I no, failed no. it. Oh, no, no, no. I did have to take one when I was 18 and I got my uh, possession. <laughs> I, I took one and I failed it, but not because I had been drinking. I didn't know how to do it. He hands me the thing. He says, blow this. And I'm holding it like a foot from my face. And I went, <sighs> like I was blowing out a birthday candle. And the guy started laughing. And he's like... Here, this is how you do it. You need to hold it up here. I'm have like, you ever I watched a TV know. show? Well, have I've never ever... done this before. All right. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Homeowners in Sweden are attacked by the Swedish cavalry. That's kind of weird. A big time oops for a group of elite military commandos from Sweden's K3 Cavalry Division. They blew up the wrong house during a training exercise. <laughs> This does not sound like a good story. No. They were supposed to attack an unoccupied home that was bought by the military specifically for attack drills. Well, instead, they launched a terrifying night assault on another home 200 yards away from their target. This happened in Sweden. Fortunately for them, the couple who occupies the home was not home at the time. I was just going to ask. Or they they certainly would have been killed. The K3 unit is considered the most deadly strike force in Sweden. Which, when you think of that, that could just be like one guy with, I don't know, like a big a stick. I have no clue. I don't know. if Maybe they are very vicious, but I've never, ever thought of Sweden as vicious. Have you? No. Like, get back here. Or I'll take your lutefisk away. And this <laughs> just sure. kind of reinforces my previous But they say notion. these guys are neck and neck with the Americans' Navy SEALs. So these guys apparently no are. Way. Well, that's what the story says. The spokesperson for the K3 in Sweden says, we already cleaned up after ourselves, and we have, of course, contacted the owner, and they say there's no hard feelings. Well, of course. <laughs> of course not. Hey, while you guys were gone, we blew up your house. I'm like, ah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Just just lock the door. You got to jiggle the key a little bit. <laughs> you, jiggle it. you lock the door when you leave, and everything's fine. All right. We've got your scoop of the day on the way. The Scoop of the Day is brought to you by Wells Blue Bunny. If you want delicious ice cream, be sure to look for the Blue Bunny. Sure to have your favorite flavors. Learn more at BlueBunny.com. Now your Scoop of the Day. In 2017, a company will charter a Royal Caribbean ship for an eight-day clothing-optional sex cruise. That is literally what it's called. An eight-day clothing-optional sex cruise. I would go on that if I was What? Oh, if you were thinner? Yeah. Uh, how, how about if you were single? Because we're, we're kind of married to each well, we other. Can, you, would would you together. want me to go with? Or would you? Yeah. I'm just, just really kind of wondering about that. That's no. not the response I was expecting. 2017. So next year, a company is uh, working with Royal Caribbean for an eight-day clothing optional sex cruise. Well, then we've got a year to drop I'm, some weight. I'm assuming Let's do this. that kids... No. I'm assuming that kids are not welcome. I'm just guessing. <laughs> And you thought other vacation pictures were awkward. Imagine we're on our cruise. Like, oh, please, quit posting photos on Facebook. <laughs> Emirates businessman pays for a number one license plate. A car license plate with just the number one went to auction at the United Arab Emirates. Guess how much he paid for this license plate? I have no idea. Five million bucks. Oh, that's ridiculous. The winning bidder is a businessman. He says, my ambition 
is always to be number one. So there, there you go. That happened in the United Arab That's Emirates. That's fantastic. I think I want to get uh, number two on my license plate. You know how much good he could have done with I know. that. Well, that money went to the people that sell license plates. I'm sure they're going to do something good with it. <laughs> hey, a kid returned a pine cone to the National Park with an apology. This is adorable. A kid took a pine cone Aww. from a National Park. And he took it back to the rangers with a sweet note detailing how sorry he was for taking it. The staff at the Sequoia Kings National Parks in California shared the note on Facebook. It says, to whom it may concern, I took a pine cone out of the forest and I wanted to return it. I hope it will be placed near the General Grant tree because that's where I took it from. I'm sorry for my decision. Thank you. Wasn't oh, that nice? how sweet. There's what a little, a little hope. peanut. Yeah, a little hope for the next generation after all. Uh, except for these guys. Uh, Police in California arrested five men for stealing $4,700 worth of energy drinks. Why on earth? I don't know. Why would anybody want one energy drink? Officers, this again happened in California, nabbed four adults and one juvenile as they wheeled a cart full of Red Bull out of a grocery store and loaded it into a waiting U-Haul van. So a cart full is $4,700? I know those things are expensive, (laughs) but that seems kind of crazy. Uh, Kate Blanchett is in talks to be in what everybody has been waiting for, a female version of Ocean's Eleven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been just uh, chomping at the bit. Well, Lord of the Rings franchise star Kate Blanchett is currently in talks for a role in the all-female Ocean's Eleven spinoff. The movie, Why do they got to mess with things? I don't know. The movie has a working all title. All-female Ghostbusters, all-female Ocean's Eleven. Well, the working title is Ocean's Ocho Ocho, which means eight. So we're looking at a cast maybe of eight. Instead of 11? I'm not sure. But Ocean's Ocho Ocho is in the works right now. All female oh, wait, no. back mountain? There's, <laughs> there's, <laughs> I don't think that's in the works yet. <laughs> Maybe they could film that on that cruise we were talking about earlier. Uh, it's actually just Ocean's Ocho. The, the next word is Ocho because it says Ocho means eight. So I want to make sure I don't <laughs> confuse anybody as much as I'm confused. Uh, 50 years after a Shanghai China woman couldn't pay to treat her young child, her son returned to settle up the hospital bill. With interest, employees were completely at a loss when two brothers came into a Shanghai children's hospital last Wednesday with an invoice from 50 years ago and 50 years worth of interest that they calculated. They showed up with a grand total of $1,002 and said, hey, we want to pay for this. So here you go. That is neat. A Saudi religious leader has issued a new fatwa, Heidi. (laughs) Good news. This one's not a violent fatwa. That's where they're saying, hey, this is what you do. You infidels die, whatever. Whatever their thing is. This fatwa is... <laughs> what? Am I saying it wrong? I don't know, but it sounds... Anyway, it this sounds fatwa... like a noise that would come from the just, front uh, end of I don't a female. Hear, no, no, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> this fatwa is against stealing Wi-Fi signals from unsuspecting neighbors. They say you shouldn't steal your neighbor's internet signal. <laughs> However, they're still calling for the death of anyone who uses their phone in a movie theater. So there you go. I got that going. All right. Thanks for listening to the John <laughs> Heidi Show. That's your scoop of the day. John and Heidi. This has been quite an election so far, and we've got a long ways to go. Stay informed at politicalstorm.com. It's a cool site with political news and information on the campaigns, plus a place to chime in and have a say in what you think. If you're into politics, you need to check out politicalstorm.com. Get informed from several different sources all in one place. Listen to podcasts like mine and learn about current election topics, read fun editorials, and engage your brain. It's your country. It's your vote. It's your voice. Politicalstorm.com. That's politicalstorm.com. John and Heidi. And it's time right now for my favorite program, something we do every Tuesday just because we can. We pick up the phone and we call my father in law for a little program we like to call Tuesdays, Tuesdays with Charlie. Charlie. How you doing, Charlie? You sure it's Tuesday? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, it's the day after Monday, so I think that's Tuesday. Oh, okay. Well, you probably know better than I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm just winging it, I hope. What kind of stuff are we going to learn about today, mister? If you live in New Jersey, and you're convicted of drunk driving, you can't get personalized license plates. No kidding. <laughs> Boy, that'd make you want to stop drinking. Right? <laughs> they should make you get personalized license plates that say, uh, I've probably drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I can't get plates? Oh, yeah. That's a big slip on the wrist. I'm moving out of state. Gosh. Hey, then you ever heard the word Samba? Santa? Samba. Oh, Samba, like S A M B A? Right. Yeah, I've heard it, but I'm trying to think of what that is. You know what that means? I don't know. 
uh, rub navels together. To samba would be to for me. Samba? Isn't that a dance? Samba. Oh. So we should rub our bellies together, and that would be a samba or a samba? That'd be, that'd be a samba. A samba. <laughs> Not a samba. Heidi doesn't know what she's talking about, her and her linguistics over here. I think she's probably right, Charlie. <laughs> I think that is a dance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and did you know you don't wake up if you die? Well, of course. <laughs> I, I think I did know that. Okay, just, just checking because sometimes you forget stuff. Well, how do they know? Do they talk to a guy that died and say, did you wake up first? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> well, that, that's a true fact. There you go. Good good news right there. And then here's some better news. What's that? When you have bacon in your mouth, it doesn't matter who's president. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> here's everything. Or booze in your system. Well, that too. <laughs> and then did you know that uh, you don't have to, to be smart to laugh at farts? You don't. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you probably are not, most likely. You have to be stupid not to. <laughs> Why wouldn't you laugh at him? I don't know. It's not a laughing matter, is it? <laughs> hey, the acceptable failure rate for condom is five per thousand. No kidding. What about them other five poor bastards? Yeah, I don't know. I guess I didn't realize there was an acceptable amount. <laughs> oh, I hope this ain't one in five. <laughs> Then here, here's a here's a good one here. This my this is we'll end, we better end with this before it gets too bad. Okay. <laughs> There's a senior. His name is Connor Hart. Connor Hart. Connor Connor Hart. You know what he wrote in his, his yearbook, senior's yearbook. What? What's that? Waking up is the second hardest thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well then, I like that kid. I'm I like that kid. Wonder what the first. Oh, I bet I know. <laughs> I think we're going to change the subject and move on to a question for you, Charlie. Okay. You ready for this? Sure. Ping pong. First of all, have you ever played ping pong? Yes, I am. Uh, do you like ping pong? Yes, I do. You might actually know this answer then. In competition, ping pong players are prohibited from wearing t-shirts this color. Oh. What color t-shirt are they prohibited from wearing in I competition? Know. White. White yeah. it is. And it says because they interfere with a player being able to see the ball. That's exactly right. That's pretty cool. Got her. I didn't know that. That makes sense. It does. Cheaters. Well, you got that one right. You want to double down and see if you can get two in a row right? Well, I'm a fart smeller, so go ahead. Right. <laughs> Blank percent of consumers are clipping coupons more now than a year ago. What percent of consumers now? are clipping coupons more now than a year ago? You mean total? Yeah, it's a percent. Uh, what percent but of consumers? Is it, is it this percent more, or is it this percent is clipping coupons? Oh. Yeah, wh which one? That's what he's wondering. <laughs> Blank percent of consumers are <laughs> doing this more now than one year ago. Oh. Okay, uh, 38%. Wow, you're real close, 40%. Ooh. I'm going to just round up and call that correct as well. Holy cow. I was going to say 42, but that's all right. You know what? Next time we get together, I owe you a schlitz now, don't I? Uh, you owe me more than one. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting harder and harder to find, too, I'm telling you. Every time you come to visit, we we have to call ahead. We're like, he's coming next week. Can you order some schlitz? It's easy to find spam, though. So I can find that oh. anyway. <laughs> hey, I had my spam shirt on the other day. Did you? Did right. you? Yep. Nice. Well, Charlie, it was nice talking to you. Thank you so much for chatting every every Tuesday like we do, and it's it's a whole lot of fun to do that every week. Well, the week goes fast. It does indeed. Well, thank you, sir. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Fluff. Bye, John. Bye-bye. My father-in-law right there. We talk to him every Tuesday just because we can. It's a little program we like to call Tuesdays, Tuesdays with, with Charlie. Charlie. John and Heidi. Do you buy lottery tickets? Maybe you wait till the jackpot is big, then you buy one. I was like that too. Like my odds got better because the jackpot was more. Well, I think I found something that actually will give me a better chance to win. It's called Lotto Licious. I learned about this from Richard Lustig. He literally wrote the book on how to win the lottery, and he should know. He's a seven-time lottery game grand prize winner. Richard plays and endorses Lotto Licious, and I just signed up too. I'd love it if you join Richard and I. You can play Powerball and Mega Millions without even going to the store. Sign up right now at RadioLottoPool.com. John and Heidi. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? A teaspoon of neutro a neutron star material weighs about 110 million tons. I do not know what neutron star material uh, is. It is apparently some heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. <laughs> Nearly a quarter of the population of Poland 
was killed in the Second World War. Well, that's not a fun fact. That's a sad fact. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, fun fact for you, Heidi. I hope. Nearly a quarter of all the bones in the human body can be found in your feet. Oh. So just your feet alone is a quarter of all of your bones. So that means the rest of your body has three quarters of the bones, but your feet have a quarter of them. Uh, if my Thank math you. is correct. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Ukulele means jumping flea in Hawaiian. Ah. Yeah. And I got a couple more fun facts for you. Uh, James Earl Jones was the first celebrity to appear on Sesame Street. Did you know that? I did not know that. I didn't. And our final fun fact for you, Pierre Michelin, the inventor of Michelin tires, died in a car accident. Oh. That's kind of crazy. That's, a again, maybe not necessarily Hopefully a fun fact. it wasn't fact. because of faulty tires. <laughs> yeah, that isn't necessarily a fun fact, is it? Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Tuesday. Whether you're an experienced shooter or someone new to self-defense, Front Sight Firearms Training Institute has a course for you. You may recognize Front Sight from their reality TV show filmed at this private range 45 minutes west of Las Vegas. A Diamond Lifetime membership is $15,000, but we have a special price of just $3,000 available now only at radiosavings.com. This lifetime membership allows you to take over 50 courses as often as you'd like at Front Sight Firearms Training Institute. Get this deal right now at radiosavings.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Tuesday. Uh, remember the song, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend? Yes. Well, according to this story, gadgets are a girl's best friend. If you want to impress your good girl, your uh, your best gal pal, boys. Your good girl. You, what, do you, what is it? Your, your very best girl? What is that? How is that your saying? best gal. Yeah, that's, maybe we'll go that one. <laughs> hey, guys, you want to impress your best gal? <laughs> <laughs> or whoever it is you're with? Forget the flowers. Buy her a nice new shiny gadget. According to research, women don't want flowers and they don't want candy. I've spent hundreds of dollars on candy over the last couple of years. I love candy. I know you do. So you're still cool with candy? I'm so cool okay, with, with candy. Well, this story says girls want I'm not so big on flowers gadgets. unless they've been picked. I don't okay. want them bought. <laughs> you don't want me to yank them out by the root anymore? <laughs> no, I saying? like them picked. I like them when okay. they're picked. I don't want them bought from a store because they just die and okay. it seems like a waste of money. But it's a very sweet gesture when it someone is. chooses them for mm. you and brings them to you. Mm. And every year... I drop hints. I don't know how many times. Oh, I love lilacs. It's lilac. Oh, look how pretty the lilacs smell. Is that what you smell. mean? By that? Every single year, right. lilacs are my favorite. Our neighbors have lilacs. Never, Not for ever, long. ever do get I get lilacs. lilacs. <laughs> You'll get some lilacs now, <clears throat> and they're free. Ooh, thanks for spelling that out for me. <laughs> hey, this story though says girls want gadgets instead of shopping at the flower shop or candy store. You might want to just buy her some gadgets. It says women were wired to a machine to gauge their reaction to certain gifts. And they thought traditional gifts got a good response, but the high-tech toys got the best reaction. A majority of women tested said their love lives suffered if they did not have their mobile phone or laptop computer with them. If you're wondering what kind of gifts would be the very best, the biggest reaction with women in the study was a DVD player. So what? Yep, Ever? That's the, according to the story. I didn't do the test. That's the most ridiculous thing. I can thing. only imagine that this was some sort of gadget that looked like Doc Brown built it, but these ladies were strapped in, and they asked him questions, and they showed him pictures, and DVD player got the best response. So there you go. Wow. All right. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Tuesday. Hey, this is Tim from Hope and Faith Machine Works. Are you having one of these days? How in the world am I going to do that? Or even, if I could just have this... My life would be so much easier. Well, this kind of stuff is my specialty. At Hope and Faith Machine Works, we work with anyone who needs something built, fabricated, or just done right. We've done medical, industrial, PLC, and prototype designs. You can reach us at yourhopeourfaith.com. That's yourhopeourfaith.com. A Michigan prisoner is suing the prison where he is being held for the right to come and go as he pleases. Why? Well, he says he is the Messiah. Yeah. <laughs> I got healing to do. He says he's Jesus, <laughs> but his birth name is Chad DeCoven. <laughs> he's been in prison for 20 years on armed robbery charges because you remember there in the first book of Peter where, you know, Jesus held somebody at gunpoint. No, that didn't happen. OK, I didn't think so. He argues that he cannot possibly be guilty of robbery because he owns everything on earth. DeCoven has failed 14 I similar... I was merely taking back yeah. what was already mine. He has filed 14 similar lawsuits in the past. Every one of them have been dismissed. Oh, my so, goodness. Lucky number 15, maybe? Yeah. Probably not. Yeah, this is a prisoner in Michigan suing for the right to that just come and go as he pleases because he is, and I quote, the Messiah. If he truly were the Messiah, 
he'd be able to get out on his own. Well, I'm going to anyway. just tell you, I, I, I've read from cover to cover in the Bible, nowhere does it mention Chad to Coven. <laughs> no, nowhere. <laughs> well, maybe I mean, they just misspelled Jehovah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that's what it is. <laughs> it's supposed to be to Coven. <laughs> I don't think so. Coming up in a moment, we have some interesting ways to save. That's on the way. If you like to save money, I have some interesting and somewhat insane ways to save money. A recent competition in New Zealand was looking for the thriftiest shopper, and they asked contestants for their very best tip on saving money. Now, Heidi could probably be in this contest. I could. Replies ranged from the practical to the very absurd. Maybe these could help you save some gas money, I guess, or grocery money. It says, if your microwave is broken, turn it into a litter box. So you're supposed to reuse your microwave as a litter box if it's broken, okay? Uh, another tip to save money, live in a tent. Oh, it's so much no. more affordable. Yeah, of course it is. But then again, you're living in a tent. <laughs> it says, when walking through a store, keep your hands in your pockets at all times. <laughs> well, you look really suspicious doing that, too, I just want to say. Uh, cut your own hair. I do that, but I don't have much to cut. It's pretty easy. Uh, if you have pimples, instead of buying that expensive stuff, treat them with garlic. Because if you do oh, yeah. that... If you do that, you don't have to worry about anything other than the fact that, well, now you smell like garlic, and you could have probably just kept the pimples. Yeah, and you won't, certainly won't have to worry about boyfriends and all that drama. And then the last thing, well, there's two more, I guess. Uh, the last one that's really absurd is get a boil-and-bag meal and cook it while washing dishes in the dishwasher. So supposedly the hot water from the... <laughs> it just sounds like a mess. I'm not even yeah. sure if that would work. If that thing bursts. Yeah. So there's dinner, have kids. A mess. Well, the good news is it's already all over the plates. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one on the list that makes me smile. You want to save money? Shower with your dog. Really? <laughs> you said that the other day. <laughs> That's why I said it's my favorite. Our dogs needed to be bathed. And I said, can I just... Take her in the shower with me? I was like, no, that's disgusting. <laughs> shampoo her, shampoo Jeez. me. I didn't think it was a good idea. I was just kidding, but since you brought it up. Coming up, we've got the Rainbow Connection. That's on the way. John and Heidi. This has been quite an election so far, and we've got a long ways to go. Stay informed at politicalstorm.com. It's a cool site with political news and information on the campaigns, plus a place to chime in and have a say in what you think. If you're into politics, you need to check out politicalstorm.com. Get informed from several different sources all in one place. Listen to podcasts like mine and learn about current election topics, read fun editorials, and engage your brain. It's your country. It's your vote. It's your voice. Politicalstorm.com. That's politicalstorm.com. John and Heidi. If you want to get people to experience a certain emotion, be more inclined to do a certain task uh, or get them to do what you want them to do, in other words, it helps to have the person around the right colors. Psychological research says specific colors turn on different parts of the brain, attracting the perfect attitude for success. So here's how you can use the rainbow for your personal gain, Heidi. Okay. Red. If you'd like more gratitude for your gifts and appreciation for your abilities, wear red. People will appreciate things more, like Santa does, you know? <laughs> this uh, pink, this is the traditional color of romance. Pink encourages a sense of soothing familiarity and relaxation. Purple, the color of money is not green, it is purple. Color expert Antonio Varden, news something or other, <laughs> uh, says better... Bring better finances by peep- keeping. <laughs> yeah, right. I, well, he stutters when he talks. Just <laughs> You're just doing Bring, an impression. Just, hey, I want to get it accurate. <laughs> Bring better finances by keeping a purple plant in a pot somewhere so you'll see it every day. As it grows, so will your bank account. Blue, the color of the open sky, inspires us to keep things to uh, inspires us to higher things to keep striving for more. Green. Harmony follows the color of growing things. It says use shades of lime and emerald and jade in your family room or conference room, and it'll bring people closer together as a team. Yellow. Bright objects make everything feel a little sunnier, boosting the feel of a maybe good brain chemical, serotonin, kind of tricks you into producing more of that if you're surrounded by yellow. Silver. Attract helping hands with shiny things, especially when placed by your doors and windows. Scientists say people associate the color of chrome and coins with a sense of reliability. And some experts say it never fails to bring much-needed assistance to your life. So we need to get some silver, Heidi. If we had a pile of silver, all of our needs would be fulfilled. And the final thing here is white, the color of innocence, used to inspire childlike imagination. 
in new, powerful, and life-changing ways. So there you go. Use the rainbow to your benefit. Coming up, we've got some good news. That is on the way on The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. This portion of The John and Heidi Show is brought to you by The John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying The John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. Always try to wrap things up around here with some good news. I thought this was kind of fun. Hopefully we can get to both of these. If you're looking for a different type of vacation this summer, Heidi, there's some wild roads around the world that will get your adrenaline pumping or at least give you a view like no other. Some hand-carved and some disappeared completely during certain hours of the day or months or year. Uh, I've got a list of the 15 most interesting roads in the world, and I've got a link on our Facebook page. Okay. So if you want to go to Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show, you can see. But there are some of these things that I think are absolutely beautiful and stunning. Now, speaking of vacations, if you happen to be on a trip this summer and you want to see this, uh, it might be worth going out of your way to see. If you're ever in Abilene, Texas, first of all, we plan on being in Abilene, Texas. Not anytime soon, probably. All right. Well, then we, we might not see it anytime soon. But this would be really kind of an interesting thing to see. If you're ever in Abilene, Texas, you might want to check out the world's largest Bible. Yeah, it weighs more than 1,000 pounds. It includes more than 8,000 pages. The Bible is over 43 inches tall, and when laid open has a width of 98 inches. The Bible was donated to the Abilene Christian University in 1956. It was actually printed one letter at a time in Los Angeles in 1930. It took two years and over 8,700 hours to complete. So why not the world's largest Bible, right? What would be the point? I don't know. Somebody was bored. They had two years and 8,700 hours to invest. (sighs) And a lot of extra paper. Yeah, they, they started in 1930 working on this. And like I said, it was donated to the Abilene Christian University in 1956, and they have the world's largest That's Bible. wonderful. There you go. Good so for them. if you're in Abilene, Texas, and you want to check that out, you have to send me a photo and let me know how that looks. All right. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Tuesday. Time now for the bonus break, only available here on the John and Heidi Show podcast. Bonus Break is brought to you by winthisonline.com, where the winning is just the beginning. And I'll tell you, when you get over there today, you can uh, sign up to win a trip to the Mall of America. That's on there. Uh, There's also some other fun prizes as well. It is free to sign up. It is free to register. And it's even free to give away prizes if you want to give away a prize for your business. Learn all about it at winthisonline.com. A woman stole an ambulance and then drove it right into the walls of the hospital. A woman in her 20s jumped into the ambulance, drove off, hitting a police car, then she followed. Uh, she was being followed by the police for about three minutes, and then she smashed through the entrance door of the Akron City Hospital emergency room. Police say there are no injuries, and the woman was taken to a different hospital for evaluation, probably the mental hospital. <laughs> Earlier the same day, she had gone to Akron City Hospital and asked for her children's birth certificates. She became irate when they explained, we don't have them. So the kids weren't born there but she's like well you're a hospital can't you dig them up (laughs) no no why would we have them here your kids weren't even born here why don't you go steal an ambulance and come crash (laughs) a columbia police department is accusing a man who can neither speak nor hear and he's mentally challenged and they've imprisoned him in a psychiatric hospital oh he is imprisoned in a psychiatric hospital they're accusing him of leading a telephone extortion racket claiming he repeatedly telephoned a local businessman, threatening his life and demanding $3 million. Now, the guy can't speak, he can't hear, and he's imprisoned. He'll have his day in court, but the court physician has confirmed that Torres cannot speak and cannot hear. They arrested him because they received a tip that the man they wanted was Juan Guillermo Torres, a man with the same name, but who has blonde hair and blue eyes, lives in Bello. This Juan Guillermo has dark hair and dark eyes and lives in Pedregal. Now, I'm not sure how the person on the phone would know if he had dark hair and dark eyes or if he had blonde hair and blue eyes. <laughs> I don't know how they would know that. I'm pretty sure it must be the other guy if this guy can't even speak. 
Our final uh, fun fact story, or what is this thing called? Bonus break Bonus story. Break. Grant Pass, Oregon. A burglar broke into a residential garage, spilled a can of paint on the floor, walked through it, uh-huh. and it was easy to catch. Police followed the <laughs> footprints, footprints straight to his motel room door. Oh, man. So this guy could go down in the books as the smartest criminal ever. Wow. Uh, we do have a strange law. I know we don't do those anymore, but I got a couple of them here, and I'm going to share those with you. Uh, in Mississippi, it's still legal to kiss one's servant. I'm sorry, to kill one's servant. That's completely different. <laughs> That's way different. In Mississippi, it is still legal to kill your servant. Huh. So if you're a servant in Mississippi, be careful. <laughs> and the last one says, it is not illegal for children in Australia to smoke cigarettes. It is illegal for them to purchase cigarettes. They can buy them or they can smoke them. They just can't buy them. Mom and dad has to get them for them. Yeah. But if you, if hey, you buy them for the kids, that's fine. They can smoke them all they want. It's not illegal to smoke them, only illegal for them to buy them. Huh. That is your bonus break brought to you by winthisonline.com, where the winning is just the beginning.